here, I'm Bill. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to wax this chain. So the first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need a way to hang your chain. I made this super hanger out of a hook. Oh. Uh, there are really good videos on how to do this. This is a very short video. Uh, if you want the, the long version, I suggest you go to uh, Silka's website. Uh, Josh has a, a 30 minute video. Basically, almost doing the same thing I'm doing here. Now, one difference with what Josh shows you at Silka is he's using, uh, he, he shows you a crock pot, um, something called an instant pot, and also uh, an ultrasonic. Well, I'm going kind of old school here. I'm going to use my stove top and uh, just a one quart saucepan. It takes a little bit of babysitting to do it like this, uh, but for me to have another 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 thing in the kitchen, like, I just don't want to do that. Now, I did look at Instant Pots and Crock Pots, and what I didn't like is the only ones I could find have a, you know, a dark, um, I don't know what you call it, dark gray or dark brown, like Teflon coating in them. I really wanted to use something that's stainless steel uh, through and through. I'm just gonna lay my chain in my wax. Now, I've already waxed chains before, so I have this cold wax pan, and I'm just gonna lay my chain in it cold, and then I'm gonna put it on the burner. Now, my one quart saucepan is plenty big enough for laying my chain all the way flat. Um, I don't know how many links it is exactly, but I've done 116 link chains in here with no problem. If you have like maybe 126 links or, or more than that, um, you might need a bigger saucepan, but I like to use as small as I can so that I use uh, less material. Um, so my bag of wax from Silka, it's, it's more than a pound and I've used, um, I've used like maybe that much of it out of this bag. So. You know, this is gonna last me a long while and uh, also gives me the option of, of uh, going to what's called a two-pot system uh, if I wanna do that. These bags of Silka Wax are somewhere around $40. So if that's out of your budget, another, another great option is this stuff. You can get at Walmart for like $4. And again, this is a pound and you're only gonna use about maybe a third of this. So you're talking about a couple of dollars uh, along with the Nine dollars I spent on the saucepan at Target that generally stays in the garage and we don't use for cooking. What you don't want to use are candles. Uh, candles are filled with all sorts of other things other than wax. Uh, so uh, it's not it's not even for three dot three or four dollars. It's not worth uh, trying something else. So I've got the chain laying down in my cold wax because I've already done this once. I'm just gonna put it on my burner and turn it on to low. Even on low, with my, my burner in this pan, um, the wax is gonna get over the recommended temperature, which is somewhere around 150 degrees. So, I have to, like I said, I have to babysit this wax. Um, I could probably go watch a couple of uh, Sus Bike Packs videos and then, and then maybe come back. So I'm back, uh, the wax is all melted. I'm gonna hit it with my thermometer here. Now I've gone a little high. I got caught up watching TV. It says 173 degrees. I would really like it to be closer to 160. So I would turn the heat source off. I'm gonna continue to monitor the temperature. I don't want it to fall back below like 155, 160 degrees. Um, so that took about, that took about five, that took about eight eight minutes uh, on my stove top for that to melt. Uh, and now I'm gonna give it another, maybe like 15 minutes. Every few minutes I kind of take my spoke and I kind of swoosh around in here, uh, make sure to knock out any air bubbles. Like I said, done. I've been watching my uh, temperature on my chain. It's 
now down to 142 degrees, I have the uh, burner turned off. And I'm just waiting for it to cool down until I get just a little bit of a, 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 a skin, like a skim skin, skim skin coat of the wax on top. Um, the reason why you want to, to have this cool down as much as possible before you, you take it out is, well, if you were to have this wax boiling hot you, and you went to hang your chain up to cool, well, a lot of that wax is gonna drip right off. So the cooler you can get it, uh, the more wax is gonna stay inside that chain. All right, so I've now started to get that, that little skin on the, on the top. Uh, I don't take the chains out in the kitchen, I take them out in the garage. So here we are in the garage, chain hanging from the garage door, the pot of wax down at the bottom. You can see it uh, didn't quite get all the drippings into the, into the pot. Now you also notice this tiny little piece of wire at the hanging on the end here. I go ahead and I wax the master link to my chains. Here's the bag of wax from Silka, which I highly recommend. So go to their website and uh, they'll show you exactly how to use it. Yeah, you can scan this QR code and then it takes you straight to the video when you receive the bag. I didn't have anywhere fun to ride today because everything was still closed due to the hurricane. So next time, maybe we'll find somewhere fun to ride. Thanks for watching.